You know, what's really interesting is air travel, as I said, is 80% of the 4 billion e-commerce category travel there. Right? But interestingly, air travel only accounts for 30% of what users are looking for and researching online. Over 54% of what people are looking for, really, are tied to hotels. Right? So if you're a hotel, and by the way, what's also interesting is most of those, most of that research is focusing on budget hotels. You know, the price point of 2,000 to 4,000 rupees. So, you know, I know this is NASCOM, so I don't know whether there are any entrepreneurs in the room. This is a huge opportunity. Because, you know, in India, we don't have enough budget hotels. So what's interesting is if you look at the, the research that's being done, but then how much of that really converts, it's actually a very small percentage. And we've done a lot of research with our OTA partners on why that is. And the reason is because there are not enough brands that are known at scale. Right? For a user to just book online, generally speaking, they have to recognize brands. So if I'm going to Ooty and I want to find a guest house or something I can stay for, for 3,000 rupees a night, let's say, if I don't recognize the brand and there isn't enough rich content and I don't have user reviews, it's sort of hard for me to close that transaction online. Right? So, so even in travel, which is a very bold category today, it's really driven by air travel. There's massive, both consumer activity in terms of research, as well as the volume of activity, which has many implications for, you know, travel companies, right? So, in fact, if you're a budget travel company today, like Ginger or one of these companies, I mean, it's unbelievable the number of users who are online looking for things that they can do. The other example that I want to touch on is really in the sort of what I call technology product space. You know, we briefly talked about this, right? 66% of consumers who are online who bought a cell phone, so this is, you know, of the 100 million universe, we're not talking about the other 500 million who are not online because, you know, now we have 600 million apparently Indians with a phone. 66% of those people who are online went to the internet as the first place to do research about their brands. This is pretty important because especially if you're in the smartphone business, guess where your customers are going to come from? They're not going to be the person who doesn't have at least a feature form. And guess where that person is going to do their research? And find out about brands, and find out about products, and as all of you know as Indians, we love doing research. Features, prices, stores, availability, user use, etc. Right? So 66% is a huge number. It's unparalleled. Actually, these set of numbers are now equal to what we see in the US in terms of research online, purchase intent, and so on and so forth. The other interesting thing is not only is it the worst place to go, where consumers would go and do research, but let's say you do the research, and then you know it's fine, you can see my behavior, those of you in the consumer business know you go, especially in there, you go to the retailer, you look at stuff, you compare stuff, etc., and then finally research. What's interesting is not only is it in the first place to know, but also all through the purchase process, a consumer will go online to do research, to compare, to look at reviews, etc. And if you look at one category, which is cameras, 47% have changed their mind about which camera to buy after they're pretty close to making, making, up, their, making up their mind based on online research. Right? So, in this product category or set of categories, cell phones, mobiles, cameras, you name it, you've got to not only be there to build awareness, to engage, if people want to transact, to build loyalty, because quite frankly, it's as if for this 100 million users, I'm not talking about the remaining 500 million, for the first 100 million, who I would argue are actually the most valuable consumers from a you know, lifetime customer value standpoint, you've got to be all over the internet with all kinds of platforms to build awareness, engagement, transactions, etc. You know, the other interesting uh, area which I talk about is banking. You know, what we've seen and what this slide shows is, is the amount of, you know, the number of uh, queries, right, people looking for internet banking, you know, this could be internet banking, insurance, we define banking pretty broadly, over the last 18 months. A 200-fold increase in Indian consumers looking for banking and financial services products. I don't know how many of you are from banks. Let me just get a raise. Anybody from banks? Yeah, they don't come to these sort of things. 
Um, but you know, guess what? This is a big deal. Because, you know, when consumers have a choice, and you know, in some cases when regulation allows consumers to fulfill those needs that they have, you're looking at, you know, literally on the traffic that we have today, you can build online financial services institutions that are bigger than some of the big offline names that we know today, right? And so all of this, guys, is very important because it really goes to the root of users and consumers and what are they doing online, other than obviously, you know, building social networks and keeping in touch with friends and sending email and, you know, watching videos and so on and so forth. So, so that's sort of the um, uh, set of things around the research online point. You know, the other thing is it's not just about online, especially if you're a brand, and this is a consumer example. Even your offline activity that you do has both a pre and post online effect. <coughs> right? So for instance, if there's a big offline campaign that's launched, right? Let's say you're a consumer product brand, it's just, uh, you know, there's a campaign around mystery shampoo, so on. If you launch an offline campaign, what we see is an incredible spike in online activity tied to that campaign. Right? So online is also an interesting way in which you can extend you know, the impact that you can get with, with offline campaigns. Let me now move to, so now I'm going to focus, go to the last uh, area that I want to talk about, which are these four mega trends, right? Video, mobile, local, and, and social. You know, video has evolved dramatically over the last several years. And, and I thought I'd just start with, you know, one interesting fact that just amazes me. You know, the three largest US broadcast networks, right? ABC was the oldest one, if you will, it was founded in 1948. So if you look at all the content that was produced and aired by the four largest US broadcast networks since 1948, that's 73 years. In the last two months, there was more content uploaded to one online video network called YouTube. Only one network. It's an online video network. That was more than all the content produced by these free broadcast networks since 1940. So you know, this is pretty interesting, right? What does this really say? What does this say? What it tells you is people want to participate, right? Mostly well, it tells you video is big, right? Video is huge. Right? Secondly, what it says is people want to participate, people want to share, Right, because I'm just talking about the upload, I'm not talking about views, I'm just talking about upload. And it's a very interesting consumer thing. So, you know, I, I think today you're talking about social, which is really about engagement. Well, this is, wow, here's another example of just not video, you're not talking about posts, you're talking about people taking videos and uploading them, right? So that, we, we, we think, is, is a pretty astounding fact. And, and we think that, you know, come not, not a very long period from now, you know, we'll be talking instead of two months, like a day. There's that much growth in online video, right? And it has all kinds of implications for brands and, and others. Now, moving to the in Indian internet, you know, online video, 1.7 billion videos viewed in India every month, 9.1 billion minutes spent on online videos every month. And when you, you know, we said the third largest internet user market, all up number of internet users, even if you look at video, despite the fact we don't have a lot of broadband, it's the fifth largest nation in terms of online data. That's a big deal in terms of online data, right? So now let me talk about, okay, what's the big deal? I know some of you are saying, wow, I don't care okay, what's the big deal. Well, the big deal is online video provides essentially a very, um, so, you know, sort of the same set of factors that marketeers and advertisers look for in TV, right? I'm just talking about one aspect of online video, which is for marketeers and companies that want to reach consumers. You know, TV is about sight, it's about sound, it's about visual, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? Well, you know, online video actually provides all of those things, plus a lot more. Because now, you can engage, right? You can add rich media, which means you can have all sorts of cool things. You can transact. You can do all kinds of things. So it's really much more two-way. It is two-way as opposed to one-way. And with rich media, you add all kinds of new layers of things that you can do with online video.